Are you all ready to see David Lade's famous acting skills? Listen, David, you're a smart guy, but you're not a good liar. All right, so I'm in a bit of a rush right now because the gym's in a closed room. I have to finish this water bottle just enough for there to be a reasonable amount of liquid to put some pre-workout into. But yeah, today I'm basically gonna do a day in a life. I haven't really done one in a good amount of time and primarily showing you foods that I'm eating on my new diet, which is basically a vegan diet. And I'm gonna start the video off with basically my chest workout, which I'm gonna go film right now. So like I said, I'm gonna drink enough water to put this pre-workout in here. This is my pre-workout. Euphoria, by the way, for those of you who don't know, this is the uh, the new Sunrise flavor if you guys wanna pick it up. Link's in the description. I'm gonna rush. Fuck. See, I only drink water out of glass containers now. For the longest time, I'd avoid drinking tap water due to obvious reasons, due to the fluoride and other harmful chemicals they put in it. So I switched over to pretty much bottled water all the time. And in the back of my mind, I knew that basically all the phytoestrogen and there's just other chemicals in the plastic itself that seep into the water, which is a no-no. So I've made the full commitment, went all out, and now I drink glass water. He's clearly not stupid, and he's clearly been watching Frank Tofano videos because I haven't heard anyone else talk about water like that besides myself. But he's contradicting himself because there's definitely chemicals and processed solvents, all that type of stuff in the pre-workout he's combining with that purified water. So it doesn't make any sense. I should probably get a legit funnel at some point. Also, being vegan for me personally, I have... Just way, way more energy, and I require overall. They all say the same thing. Stems sometimes no stems at all, so I'm not even gonna do a full scoop. I'm even gonna do like 80, 70 percent. He has more energy, doesn't require any stimulants at all. Yet he sounds like a dying zombie with eye bags in his car. <laughs> What's the saying? Do as I say, not as I do. And this shirt that you guys see me wearing right now, this is from Gymshark's new Power Collection. It's definitely one of my favorite lines that's came out in a while because the clothes are actually just proper, just baggy, not like all super tight around your body. And the tones are more muted and nicer, so you'll basically see on the back, it says Gymshark, it has this nice baggy fit, and then the pants that I'm wearing are also Gymshark too, so you can get a better look at those while I'm training. Those are going to come out sometime in the near future, so be on the lookout for that if you're interested, but yeah. We're gonna go to the gym. Could it be any more obvious that he's just getting paid to vlog at this point? In the first two minutes of this video, three sponsorships, vegan diet, his pre-workout supplement, and Gymshark. It's one thing if you offer people a lot of information, but he's literally only coming to his viewers when he has a product to sell them. He doesn't try to sound genuine. He's not trying to be honest about things. He's just plug in product. We're gonna skip through the workout footage, but he looks really good. And it's disappointing that he's using his physique that he obtained using performance enhancing drugs and a high meat diet to convince his viewers to go vegan. All right, so workout's a wrap. Like I said before, I'm just gonna reiterate. I don't know the gym was gonna close this early today. I would have came sooner and I definitely had to rush the workout. So you only saw Maybe one set a lot of raises at the end and I maybe snuck in one more set and like maybe a set of flies, that was it. I didn't even bother filming because I was so constrained on time. But anyway, gonna go home right now and eat my first meal of the day. Usually I'll maybe have like a very, very small snack in the morning before going to the gym because I've been training in the morning lately. But the overwhelming majority of the time I'll pretty much just go fast like I did today. So I'm gonna go home and show you what the first thing I'm gonna eat is. All right, so first workout smoothie. Uh, I pretty much, I've made this before in my video going to China. It's pretty much the same thing. So we have some blueberries and then we have some strawberries. The cool thing about those is that those are handpicked by me and my mom and my family from like the most organic, non-GMO, yada, yada, blah, 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 like top quality Amish farms. So yeah, we're gonna make the base that. But you put them in a plastic Ziploc bag? <laughs> Listen, if I was going to a farm to pick berries, I, I would choose a more natural container than a plastic Ziploc bag. For the liquid base, we're gonna have some oat milk. Over 
he just keeps contradicting himself. He's talking about picking berries from an Amish farm. Then he's putting Oatly, which isn't even organic and is full of chemicals and processed crap. You guys should see the Oatly factory. It's like millions and millions of dollars of high-tech stainless steel machinery to make this milk concoction. Well, this oat concoction they call milk. Over here. Now moving on to the powders. So this is a vegan protein powder that I've been using right now. I've only tried maybe like... I don't know, anywhere from two to four brands max. So it's not like my palate's diversified enough to make just like a objective decision on what's the absolute best one. But out of the limited options that I've tried, this is definitely the best one and kind of my intuitive sense of going about, you know, finding which one works for me. It to me, that translates to everything tastes like crap on a vegan diet, but I've been able to tolerate this one. Is looking at the label, making sure there's no sketchy shit in there. And also right after I drink it, how it makes me. Anyways, I was saying, when I make the protein, I'll just literally put a scoop or two in water and I'll drink it. Then I'll assess how it makes me feel. Usually if it makes me like bloat to my stomach, makes me feel lethargic, then it's probably a no-no. But this one, when I try it, I drink it and then I basically, I'm invigorated with more energy right after and I just feel really good. So that's how I know this one will legit. And then also it kind of tastes like shit, which is always a good sign. That means that <laughs> they're not like trying too hard to make it taste good and putting other weird shit in there. So this is the one I'm using right now. I'm really enjoying it. One scoop's like, 20 grams, no added sugars. Um, yeah, 20 grams of protein, one scoop is. So I'm just gonna toss about two scoops of this in there. Flaxseed, hemp hearts, moringa leaf powder, lion's mane mushroom powder. Very potent, especially if you combine it with other strains of mushrooms and a little yellow potassium pencil over here. Usually I put some spinach or kale in here, but considering how much spinach and kale I've been eating with my other meals, I don't put it in the smoothie. So yeah, basically cap it off with more oat milk, blend it up, and that's that. Actually it looks like a lot less than we usually see. Usually it's the size of their torso with these vegans. Oh shit, I forgot one thing. Right here, we have some spirulina. Also super potent. I'm gonna try to scoop this with a fork. Just a little bit, it's fine. Yeah, I overdid this one, I put maybe too much fruits in here, not enough liquid content, so it's just too thick and mushy, so it's gonna have a hard time mixing. You see everything's at the top, we're gonna have to take over. That should be good. We're really not making any progress. I am clearly a beginner vegan. Zero out of 10 for execution. We've seen these 50 ingredient vegan concoctions over and over again. Just the protein powder itself probably has 25 ingredients. And to break these down on an individual basis is just way too time consuming and ridiculous. There are some overarching concerns though. You know, how many pollutants, agrochemicals, how much stuff was sprayed on the crops of those 50 ingredients. The more stuff you add to your smoothie, the more problems you're going to have. This would have been much healthier with just, you know, two or three fruits and one powder from that basis. And then of course you have the anti-nutrients, especially when you're putting things like flax seeds, hemp hearts, lion's mane mushroom, moringa leaf powder, things that occur in tiny amounts in nature that have very, very high and concentrated uh, anti-nutrient contents. That can cause issues when used in large amounts long-term and they don't offer anything to the body. It, your body needs a few simple things, vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids none of which is being offered in this smoothie. He's just giving himself caloric energy. We're gonna put more oat milk in here. If this doesn't blend right now, after that modification, I'm literally gonna quit everything and eat those two pounds of beef. He's probably eating the beef on the side anyway. There are subtle hints throughout this video that I think Dave is giving his viewers that he's not really vegan. I think it's for the more intelligent people. Yo, I should do this too. I should just tell everyone I went vegan and then right after I filmed my smoothie, just choke down two pounds of ground beef. <laughs> I 
Jesus. I swear I normally do not fuck up this bad, but yeah, I think we're good. All right, so while I'm in the kitchen, I'm basically gonna start uh, some sweet potatoes to cook that I'm gonna eat throughout the day. Here I have three massive sweet potatoes, so we're gonna put them in the oven. It's gonna cook. By the time they're done cooking, I'm gonna drink a smoothie. It's gonna be digested. I'm gonna be ready to head on to the next meal. So for anyone wondering, this is pretty much how I cook my sweet potatoes. Put a little baking sheet, wet the potatoes, put them on top of the sheet, then I'll take a fork and I'll profusely stab the top layer of it a bunch of times just so, you know, maybe breathe and cook better. Normally I'll cook them for like maybe 45 minutes to an hour if they're normally sized, but these are XL as you can tell. So basically I'm gonna cook these for maybe an hour and 20 minutes. So what I'll do is I'm gonna close it, bake, 450 start set a timer for an hour 15 minutes so yeah just set the timer for like an hour and 15 minutes normally you'd wait for the oven to preheat to 450 but i kind of just don't you know it'll hit 450 maybe like i don't know 10 15 minutes but yeah just in my experience sweet potatoes are roughly that big starting from this point with my oven how it works if i just put a timer on for like an hour. Uh, buddy is the vegan diet already getting to your brain we don't need a, a primer on how to cook sweet potatoes I mean, they're not the best source of carbohydrates, and a lot of people do overload themselves with carotene on a vegan diet, uh, which can be an issue, especially with all these green vegetables, colorful fruits. An hour and 15 minutes, it'll be pretty much give or take done around that time. And if I open it up, I'll kind of stab it with a knife. If it goes in smooth, that means it's good. If it's fucking hard and hard to jab it, I'll leave it in for like a little bit more. But yeah, that's that. Sweet potatoes are cooking. That is a thick smoothie. I did not make that optimally. Uh, so anyway, so for anyone that doesn't follow me on Instagram, I basically made a post on Instagram the other day saying that I'm like 30 days in on a vegan diet. I'm like feeling super good and I plan on continuing. So thinking of my last video, which was the um, 4th of July video, that's when I was basically maybe like, at least it's not as obvious as the raw alignment butcher box stuff. You know, it's not like he's throwing in Vivo Life ads yet one two or three days into a quote-unquote vegan diet and i was like feeling great and i'm definitely feeling really really good i'm about maybe a month in maybe a month and some change and things that i could notice is way easier to get up in the morning like way 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 easier way more just energy enthusiasm vibrance throughout the day and normally i would need like stems to doesn't sound like it be like necessary to work out or just kind of have energy throughout the day for the wind to pass he had just way more energy way better move feel way better and i could go to the gym with sims i can go to the gym to the gym without sims and if i go with sims then i don't have like an abrupt crash throughout the day i just have just sustained energy throughout the entire day and i've definitely lost weight i maybe lost like five to ten pounds and the reason for that is is i mean it's simply of muscle to get, i mean at least for me it's hard of to muscle get more calories in on a vegan diet because the food is just so much like more loaded with fiber and also it's much more difficult to get a good amount of protein in which is why I'm supplementing with that vegan protein powder that I've shown you and obviously vegan protein sources aren't as a complete or you know optimal amino acid profile so I'm supplementing with like essential amino acids branch chain amino acids to try to you know optimize like the protein uptake I'll take iron here and there I mean I eat a good amount of spinach so I'm not too concerned about that I'll take a b12 here and there and also I found out about liquid IVs the other day which I went to go get one and they're insane. So basically what a liquid IV is, for those of you guys who don't know, they basically, you know, like a straight up in the hospital an IV, they put a needle in your arm with a bag that drips, and then depending on which package you get, like you get all your essential vitamins, minerals, trace minerals, vitamin C, B12, and it just, it completely fills you up and you feel very, very, very good. So he feels so great on this vegan diet that he needs to go to the hospital to get IV vitamins. That's hysterical. Uh, he said he takes iron, but he eats spinach, so he obviously hasn't been educated that the main problems with iron metabolism actually occur due to a lack of copper, not because you don't have enough iron in your diet. And iron from plant foods isn't bioavailable to, to humans as the animal version is. Uh, just contradicting himself so, so much, as we've seen throughout the beginning of this video. Plus, it's very unlikely all of those things he just mentioned are vegan. Branch chain amino acids, all those supplements. Is he really checking on everything? This is like, I'm pretending to be vegan, first day rodeo. Just have to check the footage to see if you can even hear me because of the wind, and I think you can, I hope. So yeah, definitely lost some weight, maybe five or 10 pounds. Um, 
I'm obviously I'm like new to this, so I'm like experimenting with different meals, finding more calorie dense meals. So at the time, definitely lost weight, and really I don't really mind it. I prefer to have more energy and feel way better than. He's admitting he looks worse. Workouts look very, very big, but then just like feel like shit. So I, I don't mind the trade off in the slightest. And yeah, overall intentions for trying this. I mean, one, I just like experimenting in general. And in the back of my mind, I've always known that, you know, there's probably something semi-optimal about a vegan diet, and there's also something good about not killing animals unnecessarily. But I chose to just not investigate a little more in that direction because. I really enjoyed eating meat and I was just happy with what I was doing at the time. So then I basically reached the point where I was like, you know what, like, it's about, it, it's time to essentially go vegan, like try veganism in a sense. And like I said, I feel very, very good and I don't really plan on stopping for like, at this moment on, I see myself essentially doing this for life unless I run into some weird <laughs> unforeseen health complication, which I doubt will happen, but I'm not, I mean, I'm not saying for a fact I will, but at this moment, I don't see why I wouldn't continue, so see that vaguely in a oversimplified manner explains why I kind of decided to do this. I'll give him like two months. Two months. This is funny. Another reason I decided to be vegan, essentially, is that to my understanding, vegan diets have substantial anti-inflammatory effects and the lower back issue that I'm trying to heal right now which is arthrosis in my facet joints, arthrosis stems from arthritis, arthritis stems from inflammation for a prolonged period of time so just intuitively common sense if I could do anything I can to reduce inflammation in my body that's you know logically going to accelerate the healing process so that along with other things I'm doing to kind of rehab my lower back is going to at least I think accelerate my recovery so yeah. removing inflammation is just one aspect of a healthy diet and lifestyle if you don't provide your body with the nutrients it needs which a vegan diet doesn't do you're just going to continue to deteriorate David drink a gallon of raw milk chug a bottle of a vitamin k2 supplement and your lower back will patch itself right up also might not hurt to put the cell phone down for a few weeks yeah, that's pretty much the extremely rough gist on why I'm doing this diet at the moment. And yeah, finish the smoothie, relax out here for a bit, then we're gonna go inside and um, make another meal. Another thing I forgot to mention is that if you guys are considering going vegan or just doing a drastic change in your diet in any capacity, the disclaimer. I'd probably recommend making a the disclaimer a slow and gradual transition because you don't want to shock your body too much and you like. Your body's essentially accustomed, like with its micro gut biome, to eat, like I mean, to digest certain foods that you've been eating for a while because your body's used to it. And if you just make just a radical, abrupt change, you could potentially cause issues, complications. But with that being said, I didn't care. I'm an extremist. I love doing things in an extreme fashion. So literally one day after just many, many months or even years of eating like pounds of like red meat a day, I just decided that's it. I'm going to vegan. And from that day. I haven't consumed basically a single animal product. So I did it in an extreme, just like radical overnight fashion. I don't necessarily recommend that you guys do the same thing. That's just how I did it. Just thought I'd put that out there. But David, when you do something, you're recommending people do it. Unless you tell them explicitly not to follow your advice, which you're not doing here. You know, when I was eating honey, I told people, don't do this. It's stupid to eat a jar of honey every day. That's not what you're doing. You're being pretty nonchalant and non-specific about it. All right, so the sweet potatoes are done, and I'd normally be having my next meal right now that I would show you guys. But every now and then, my mom does cook some miscellaneous food items, such as you see right there, which is some pasta. So when she wasn't looking, I just stole a little bit. So I'm going to eat this, make a little snack, and then I'm going to make my la. And then I'm going to go into making my next meal. So for my next meal, I just smashed up some avocados right there and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some rice in this rice cooker. You see that's white rice. Uh, I've mainly been eating brown rice this whole time. Maybe had white rice here and there. The reason I'm eating white rice right now is I feel like I've been eating so much brown rice lately which has a lot more fiber than white rice and even though fiber is good and my end result diet is going to have a lot of fiber my stomach still needs to kind of adjust and I've been feeling a little stressed out in the gut region from just such an excess of fiber, so I'm just toning it back a little bit and make what one month in, buddy, and your tummy hurts already. Th this just gets better and better. First, he's taking IV vitamins at the hospital. Then he admitted he got weaker and lost 10 pounds of muscle. Now his tummy hurts. White rice. So this meal is basically going to be 
avocado with white rice and some uh, black beans, which I'll show you in a second. I'm probably just gonna dice up some spinach and kale, throw it in there, salt the thing, and that's gonna be my meal. These are the beans I'm gonna be putting in there, right? Ideally, um, I would just soak them overnight, but I don't have any of those in the moment. I kinda have the quick ones in a can, so I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna use my hand as a drainer. I would bet a substantial amount of money that this is the first day he's ever gone fully vegan. Th this irritates me more than the other vegans because this guy's been using steroids and steak for 10 years and now he's trying to shove this vegan BS down people's throats. Usually I use the green leaves from my garden in the back, but there isn't any at the moment. So we have to use this brand. And of course, they're organic because everything I buy, I make sure that it is organic, as top notch quality as I could possibly get. So if you guys have not picked up on already, basically I spent all my money on cameras and water and food. Just because a food's organic doesn't mean it's okay to eat. You know, those greens were probably grown in fluoride and chlorine, you know, the things he's trying to avoid by drinking glass bottled water. And even if it's perfect organic, there's no bad stuff in it, you still have the anti-nutrient goitrogenic properties of green vegetables that eventually inhibit thyroid function. He's just contradicting himself so much. Not only is he getting like IV vitamins and saying to go organic, He's pretending to be healthy, trying to be healthy, trying to do all these great things, but he's following a vegan diet, which isn't healthy, which misses many basics of nutrition. So now basically just top it off with some salt. All right, that should be good. That's a lot of salt. So in terms of macronutrients, I haven't been counting them precisely in pretty much years. So when it comes to this bowl right here, it's obviously extremely carb heavy due to the rice. Beans have some carbs in them, pretty low on fat, and they got just a little bit of protein in there. Maybe there might be, I don't know, like 15, 20 grams tops of protein exclusively from the beans when it comes to this meal. And there's obviously just, just a sprinkle, just a little bit of really shitty protein like kind of coming in from the rice. That's a plus, can't really complain. Obviously no real protein, no significant protein or any protein at all in the greens. So pretty much what I do with all my meals is I'll literally just have one scoop of protein. So where is that? All right, here it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a scoop of this. So I basically wanna make my shake. Pretty much after my workout, I'll put about two scoops in there. And then every time I have this protein throughout the day, it's just one scoop and I found that with plant-based proteins and even regular like whey proteins like if you just have a large amount at once it can kind of upset your stomach so if you're relying on a supplemented protein powder for a large majority of your daily protein intake i think it's probably wise to spread it out evenly throughout the day and not just bombard massive amounts of scoops in a single sitting because at least in my experience i noticed that it tends to upset my stomach so literally with every big proper meal that I eat nowadays, I'll just throw in a scoop of protein, not on the meal, but in an actual shaker cup, literally drink on it, then eat the meal or eat the meal, drink it after or just sip on it throughout the meal. So that's what I'm gonna do. Contradicting himself again. He said the protein from the rice in his meal was really shitty protein, but did he not remember what was on the label of that protein powder? It's isolate extracts of those grains and legumes you're saying are shitty, rice, pea, soy that's where they're extracting the shitty protein from and david why don't you show people the testosterone that you're also injecting with every meal to make up for the lack of cholesterol in your vegan diet and for those of you that don't know cholesterol is a precursor to steroid hormones it's why men start looking like women and women start looking like men when they follow a vegan diet because they don't have their hormones anymore i literally use this water glass water for everything, whether I'm cooking rice, I'm boiling something, if I'm making a drink, there's no tap water that is gonna cross my path unless it absolutely, absolutely has to, so. Besides the tap water that was used to grow your spinach and kale. 
Just so you guys know how insane I am, there's that. So, wrapping up the night, we basically have some buckwheat and spinach. Normally, I wouldn't eat buckwheat, not that I have anything against buckwheat at all. I just haven't gone through the trouble of, like, cooking it and stuff. This is just another miscellaneous item that my mom, once in a blue moon, occasionally cooks and leaves in the kitchen. So, I definitely hijacked some of that. Threw some, like, spinach and kale in there, mixed it together with some salt. That meal is so low calorie, I'm probably, like, it's inverted. Like, I'm going to lose weight eating that, but hey, that's the vegan lifestyle. Over there, we have some almond butter on some sourdough bread. And then we have another scoop of that protein in there with some water. Definitely not the calorically highest day today, but I'm off the gym tomorrow. And I'm just going to eat a bunch. It's almost as if there's a globalist agenda. Another hint at uh, his viewers that he's lying possibly, but who knows. Uh, that last meal was just more starch, more green vegetables almond butter plus sourdough bread it was actually the first time we saw a large amount of omega-6 in his diet and he had more of that protein powder so I, I think David is a lot smarter than most people understand and the fact that he's avoiding omega-6 and a lot of these other foods we see these vegans eating shows that he knows enough about nutrition to not be following a vegan diet but someone handed him a bag of money so uh, I do genuinely think he's not actually vegan. I mean, I, I can't say that for sure, but but you know, he had three pounds of beef on his counter. Who else is going to be eating that? If you guys want more in-depth explanations on anti-nutrients and what vitamins, minerals, and fatty acids we need in our diets, of course, just check out the other videos on my channel. What scares me the most about this is people like David Laid and very large influencers going vegan. To me, it's like, oh wait, hold on, this isn't good. Is it like, is the end near? If these people are willing to throw out their reputation, their careers, like Raw Alignment did with the Butcher Box stuff, if these people are willing to throw out everything for one last paycheck, what's going to happen in the near future? Makes you wonder a little bit. Makes you scared. Uh, so thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you could please like the video, leave me a comment down below. Above all, please share the video on social media if you can. And if you do want to support me further, you know how to do so down in the description below. Thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you later for the live stream as well as tomorrow's video.